there are few projects which are best shown rather than explained theoretically first so let's look at some of the outputs generated by this x video technique let me play this video for you for a bit and look at the vibrancy of the images and the vividness the outputs are not only very much realistic but of also very very high quality this all has been generated by this x video engine with the help of various video generation and image generation models let me now show you couple more examples for example if you look at this one we already have seen that look at that how sublime that looks let me try to make it a bit bigger and now you will appreciate how amazing this looks let's try out this one this is all has been generated from text prompts images and videos and there are heaps of examples which are scattered throughout this paper and look at this one how realistic this looks amazing stuff now let's try to look what exactly is happening here over recent years diffusion models have achieved outstanding results in image synthesis they have significantly surpassed previous gains these achievements have subsequently fostered a burgeoning interest in adaptation of diffusion models for video synthesis models such as stable Dif video diffusion or svd animate diff and video crafter epitomize this research trajectory showcasing the ability to produce frames that are not only coherent but also of very high visual quality these achievements with these models underscore the practicality and potential of employing diffusion models in the field of video synthesis though current video synthesis model are capable of producing video clips of satisfactory quality there remains a considerable gap in their ability to extend the duration of the video generated to generate longer videos current methodologies can be categorized into three types training with long video data sets then we have generating a video in a streaming or sliding window manner and then we have various other techniques such as frame interpolation where video frame interpolation model offer a method to augment the frame count but all of these just lack in terms of clarity and above all there is not much video quality there that is where this new post tuning strategy or technique called sx video enters this is specifically designed to empower existing video synthesis models to produce extended duration videos with the videos within the constraints of limited computational resources they have designed an extension structure for mainstream video synthesis models architecture and this framework incorporates adapter components meticulously meticulously engineered to maintain the intrinsic generalization capabilities of base models and through post tuning they have enhanced the temporal modules of the models thereby facilitating the processing of content across longer temporal spans this x video is designed to be compatible with the majority of existing video synthesis models to imp to empirically validate the efficacy of their post training or tuning methodology they have applied it to the stable video diffusion model which is a popular open source image to video model through x video they can extend the original frame production capacity from a limit of 25 frames to 128 frames importantly this expansion was achieved without compromising the model's distinguished generative capabilities also the enhanced model shows the versatility to be seamlessly integrated with text to image models this synergistic amalgamation establish establishes robust and versatile patterns and that is what i really like about this model that it is quite versatile so all in all 
what we need to remember is that this X video is a post tuning technique for video synthesis models that can extend the temporal scale of existing video synthesis models to facilitate the generation of long videos. And they have also trained an extended video generation model based on stable diffusion capable of generating coherent videos of up to 128 frames while preserving the generative capabilities of the original model. There is a lot of good stuff which they have uh, published in their technical report and I will drop the link to it in video description this uh, project page where you can access not only the technical report all of these videos plus you can also have a look at the mo model or technique itself on hugging face you can download it and if you want to use it on your own local system but you would need a really good gpu or maybe a cluster of gpu because this is a video generation one and of very high quality so i can tell you how you can do that so first up you would need to go to this github repo page which you can access from there in order to get it installed just create a conda environment activate it and then from there they have given some of the examples which you can use with a lot of the models and let me show you the models so these are the model which you can use stable diffusion excel control net and you would have to of course uh, separately download them and run them and then you would need to use this x video to start using them with the help of these examples and there are a lot of them for example if you want to go with this let's say x video so these are few of the training scripts test scripts and then for example if i just open this x video script they have given some of the sample code which you can use in your pipeline to generate it so it's not that out of the box that you will just do pip install and it is going to install everything here that is not going to happen that is a bit of a um, limitation there for everyone in addition to having really beefy gpus but that is what it is at the moment but the good thing is that if you go to the hugging face page go to files and check the size of just this engine it is just under 4 gig 3.3 and then this so let's say 5 gig so which is quite good i would say so i think for this uh, this is amazing but i'm still looking at uh, to see if there is a way of running it with a smaller model as soon as i get it working i'm uh, and if my gpu supports it i'm going to make another video and i will show you how you can use it so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it uh, i mean look at these vibrant videos this is the future for us so if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network on social media and wherever you like as it helps a lot thanks for watching